when we developed our first product, the, the DC to DC converter for, for this type of technology, for the e-bike, e uh, we partnered with uh, uh, Nottingham University. Nottingham University and that collaboration allowed us to, to work very close with Nottingham for uh, utilising the development of uh, their expertise in this type of field and in conjunction with our own DC to DC converter allowed us to really synchronise our technology with their end application which in this case is the electric bike. Um, so in terms of the, the actual product that we're using, um, the, the actual part is an MGJ6. It's a, it's a 6 watt DC to DC converter. Uh, it's been specifically designed uh, for driving IGBTs and MOSFETs. Uh, the MGJ DC to DC converter is a high isolation device. Uh, it's used to pretty much power the high side and the low side drive of IGBTs in bridge technology uh, for using the IGBT and MOSFET technology. The harsh environment within the e-bike, the demanding electrical operating conditions, uh, the fact that you know the, the, the actual limited space within the bike causes potentially many and gives you many challenges for this type of technology. So the, the DC to DC converter has been designed to take into account these dynamic drive conditions. So under dynamic drive conditions, the DC to DC converter and the drive to the motor is constantly changing from 0 volts to 500 volts. The DVDT, which is that switching immunity of the, of the IGBT, uh, can peak at anything up to 10,000 volts per microsecond. So it's paramount that isolation is, is brought into that device and, and brought into the design. The, there are many benefits of using this type of technology, uh, but the main three really uh, are the, the high isolation, uh, the fact that we uh, offer a, a product that meets these demanding environments for this, so that low coupling capacitance is, is paramount. Uh, and lastly, uh, we opted for a different style of technique in terms of testing our product. Uh, we take into account a partial discharge rather than just high pot testing, which really allows us to uh, predict the reliability of our product in these continuous high voltage demanding environments. It's a, it's a, it's a brand new technology for Murata. Uh, it's a technology that's been adopted into a, a into a, a, a superbike, uh, an e-superbike, which is uh, any kid's dream to be able to ride an electric bike at 300 kilometers an hour, which is phenomenal. So uh, we're very proud.